We're going to begin with uh, uh, the Honorable Hazel O'Leary, who is president of Fisk University. President O'Leary has been the head of Fisk University since 2004. President O'Leary was most recently served as president of, an, of the international energy consulting firm O'Leary & Associates that she founded in 1997 to focus on issues of corporate change, leadership, and arms control. She also served as president and chief operating officer of Blaylock & Partners, a top-ranked African-American investment banking firm in New York. During the first administration of, of, of President Bill Clinton, President O'Leary ser served as the uh, U.S. Secretary of Energy, where she, uh, she did some great groundbreaking work. And thank you, Madam Secretary, Madam President, Madam, all these things, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> the chairman has touched upon it. That is, I have so little time and so much to say. So I brought a picture, but only you can see it. This is my favorite picture of Fisk University. It's a graduation with the young people wearing the cloth traditional of um, Ghana. Uh, and that's a good place to begin with Fisk University. Uh, we are proud to report that our retention rate is at 86 percent, meaning our freshmen get into the sophomore year. And there we can hold them except for financial crises. Our graduation rate is at 65 percent ranking us 10% uh, ahead of the graduation rate of all majority schools in the United States of America. We've been recognized by the Chronicle of Higher Education for doing the best job of graduating low-income, first-generation uh, students. But perhaps more importantly, as my students would want me to tell you, we hook them up. And by hooking them up, I mean they go on to graduate school or they go right into the world of work. Some 70 percent of the students at Fisk University enter a graduate program. Um, we like to talk about some of our steeples in academia. Uh, Fisk University holds the distinction of, being, of producing the largest number of African Americans who go on to earn a PhD in the natural sciences. Um, that is stunning because normally our population of students is at about 900. We're on track in the next year to take that title with respect to physics graduates with PhDs. Uh, I can point out to you that this year, 15 African Americans entered a PhD program in physics. Nine of them were graduates of Fisk University. Uh, that's the good work we're doing. Uh, we are very proud of our academic excellence. For 16 years in a row, the Princeton Review has rated Fisk University in the 85th percentile of quality and education among colleges and universities in America. Recently, the uh, U.S. News and World Report did a survey of historically black colleges and universities, 86 of them. Fisk ranked number five. Now, maybe 10 years ago or 20 years ago, we would have ranked number one. But it's important to tell you that we have managed to do this uh, with an endowment of $7 million. Now, if that were the good face of Fisk, there is a face of Fisk that needs uh, to be getting a little more makeup, as it were. Um, we are very blessed this year to have caught the attention of the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation, recognizing that FISC needs very quickly to build their endowment. They have given us a million dollars outright and set a challenge to give us another $2 million if FISC can raise $4 million by the 30th of June. I'm happy and proud to tell you that we're approaching the two million mark, and uh, my suitcase is packed all the time, so I know we're going to get there. I want to go now to the heart of our problems, recognizing I have a minute and 10 seconds, and say to you that it is all about capital at a place like Fisk. 142 years old in October, we're the first university in Nashville, and we are blessed to have a campus that is listed on the Register of Historic Sites. But with that comes an overwhelming requirement uh, to take care of these beautiful buildings. 
When I arrived, uh, deferred maintenance, last study done in 95, was at $19 million. Fast forward and re-up that analysis, we're over $30 million in deferred maintenance. Here are the things that really work for us. If anybody has looked at FISC's history and background, we would not have these stellar programs in science without congressional support. We have five centers of excellence that are supported by agencies of government. Not the Department of Energy, but I think we can work on that one. The other thing that's valuable to us are all of the, uh, all of the grants coming to Fisk University out of Title III, both for operation and enhancement of our program, and most importantly, to use to lever endowment. So as that Title III gets whittled away, opportunities for more capital to, to invest in a great university uh, cease to exist. But we're going to do our job at any rate. Um, I'm a proud graduate of Fisk University. I say to my kids, I came out in the last century. Uh, and the difference between today's Fiskite and yesterday's is that we are meeting the needs of brilliant and excellent low-income and first-generation college students. And I believe that that is our correct mission. I thank you for the opportunity to sum up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get it done in a hurry. Every university represented here has a great story to tell. And I know that I'm talking to uh, the choir in this particular church to say that I understand that you understand our need. The difficulty we will all have is with capital for the near term and the long term. I just want to cite you an example. At Fisk, I looked it up before I left, of course. Our debt service is approximately 10% of our budget. It could be a lot less if I could simply, or Fisk could simply refinance those loans. Uh, we will always carry debt. We can't carry much more because everything at Fisk is already collateralized. And I would point out to all of you, another thing that you know is that we are cut collateralized at too high a level. Uh, we will do our job. We look very much forward to working with this committee. And uh, I've had some great jobs in my life, but none as great as the, uh, being the president of Fisk University. I thank you for this opportunity.